Hey guys, it's Meredith and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So my husband Mark is actually out of town this weekend on a bachelor trip and I don't love staying at home by myself. So while I was thinking of things that I wanted to do to occupy my time, I was thinking maybe I can read, obviously. Maybe I'll order takeout one night. Maybe I'll do a face mask. And then I realized I was kind of naming sleepovery things so that's what we are going to do i don't know how this video will turn out it might just be hanging out with me basically doing nothing and that's okay but first off dinner because it is like 6 40 and we gotta eat i was thinking about the sleepover e food that i could get and what's more sleepover e than pizza i I'm on Domino's because that is cheap. Um, so we're going to go from there. What should we order? I mean, I realize I cannot ask you because while I am pretending to have a sleepover, um, you guys are not actually here, so you cannot give your input. After I finally made the decision, which is hard for me to make decisions, it says I can only go there. And normally I wouldn't be this lazy, but I saw a snake outside today. And so I don't want to, you know, increase my risk of it coming back. I was gonna tell this story while we ate, um, but I will tell it now. I was outside and there was, Ellie like ran to the bush and she really likes bugs. So I thought that that's what it was. As I was walking back, like back, I saw something peeking out of the bush and it was like a snake head and it was like a weird color. People usually say that if they're green or if they're gray that they're harmless. But this was a weird pinky translucent color and the eyes were so big and had like the big nose and I was so scared. And so I ran upstairs and then I got to thinking maybe it was fake. Maybe I was being a little dramatic but the image is ingrained in my mind now. And so I got scared and I called the front office of our apartment and I think that they fixed it. I think it's okay, but I'm still nervous that it's just gonna slither on up. So we're gonna take Ellie out tonight a different way than I usually go. Well, now I have to find a new place. We're trying DoorDash now, but then I'm gonna be just tempted to get sushi, which is honestly healthier, but I don't know how sleepover -y sushi is we just do pizza hut i know i'm naming like chain places that aren't very fun but i don't know what else to get like i want to keep it cheap i am just a poor gal trying to have a sleepover via the internet okay guys we're doing pizza hut because they'll actually deliver to me sorry if you don't like it just pretend I ordered something else. I don't know if you guys think this is gross, but I love pineapple on pizza, so that's what I got. So, sorry if that disgusts you. Click off now, I guess, or don't. We saved $4.96. That's so exciting. It worked. Yay. Okay, so I'm not going to make you sit here and just do nothing with me. So, we are going to wait until it gets here. We'll have a little mukbang chat. It'll be fun. Maybe we won't. I've never done that before and I'm kind of self-conscious when I eat. So, um, maybe we won't do that, but we'll try. All right, see you soon. It's here, it's like no time has passed at all. I'm currently reading Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I don't have it with me and I don't wanna get it messed up, but I have heard so many mixed reviews about it and I'm a little over halfway in it. And I honestly, I like it. I don't think it's on the level of people we meet on vacation. And I don't know how I would compare it to beach lovers, beach lovers, <laughs> beach read, but I am still really liking it. A lot of people said that it is very much a book for older sisters and I really get what they mean. Our main character, Nora, she is an older sister and she just cares so deeply about her younger sister and her personality. She's very cold is how she's kind of looked at from others. But when you're reading from her perspective, you really see how much she cares for people, especially her sister. 
and I can just relate to that. I don't think I have really the cold personality she has. I think it definitely for me comes out more as a people pleasing tendency, but I don't know. I just, I really related to her. I do like Charlie. I think there's just something about Emily Henry's writing that I love so much. Okay, my hair needs to go up. I feel like it's all over the place. I've mentioned before, if you've watched any of my book reviews, I love books with sisters. I don't have a sister. I have a younger brother. And so I don't know if I just love reading about sister relationships or what it really is, but there's something about sisters that just I really love reading about. And I will say, since we're just reading from Nora's point of view, that I don't think we really feel like we know Libby a ton, but I don't know, that might also be because Nora just feels like she doesn't really know her as much anymore. I'm not really sure on my thoughts. I don't really want to accidentally spoil anything because like I said, I'm only a little over halfway through. But I'm excited to find out more. I'm hoping we continue to. So one critique that I keep seeing about the romance in the book is that people don't like when characters are kind of making up reasons for why they can't date. It doesn't really bother me so much yet because I do see, in my mind, it makes sense for why Charlie and Nora can't really act on their feelings. I think that's how I felt with a lot of Colleen Hoover books where Colleen Hoover's characters and her writing, it just really speaks to me. And I feel like that with Emily Henry, where if I hear a critique about the book, I can understand why someone would feel that way, but I just feel the opposite. I'm gonna finish eating and then we can move on to the next part of the sleepover. Okay, now that we've eaten, um, I went ahead, changed into the pajamas tonight. Do I normally wear an actual pajama set? No, but I thought it was fitting for the video. So I have two face masks. I used to do these a lot more. I have kind of sensitive skin, so hopefully it doesn't make me break out. The first one is one that I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law gave me is a blueberry firming face mask so let's see what it looks like i hope i don't look scary i mean i know it's not going to be hi are you wanting to play here there you go i can't even get it undone watch my dog's gonna be afraid of me okay let's try it ready oh it smells so good i don't think stuff you put on your face is really supposed to smell good I think stuff is kind of supposed to be unscented, but oh my gosh, this is so cold. I look like Dwight Schrute in that one, uh, like, safety episode of The Office. <coughs> we'll do 20 minutes. We'll really get, really get the full effect of it. Okay, <laughs> this is on my face. I'm going to go ahead and read a little. basically just highlighted the entire page of 229 but that is one of the cutest things I've ever read. Oh my. That scared the crap out of me. Oh that feels very nice actually. Okay, while I was sitting here reading with that, I was thinking it was so quiet in here because I'm just here alone. Well, Aunt Ellie, I get the occasional bark, but I thought we could turn on like some reading ambiance. So I'm going to look on the TV and see which one to do. I don't know if anyone else is like this or if this is just a common thing, but I have to somehow either have it fit the vibe of the book or I have to have it fit the time of day. So for example, I was reading earlier today and I had on this 
picnic. It was very bright and nice and just very light. However, it is currently 8.19 and I could not have something that cheery on. Let's just type in reading ambiance first. And then, okay, so I'll show you what I had. Hopefully this works okay. So there's a glare from the lamp and if you look close enough, you can see the laundry I still need to put away. Uh, but, so this first one here, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a, the first two are like book nook ones. And I really like those because sometimes there's like an afternoon one and then there's a night one. This is the picnic one I was talking about. It was very nice for during the day. Um, ooh, there's a beach one. Oh, it has a puppy too. I don't even know if you can see these that great. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. See, I can't have these daytime ones. I love these for just background noise, but it can't have too much music. New York. Ooh, this is pretty. In the winter though, see, it's summer. I'm thinking way too much into this. Like I should just pick one. I wish you guys could talk through. Ooh, I do like this. See the cozy reading nooks? I really love. Okay, let's try this. Watch the NBA Finals live. No. Okay, I think I can handle this. It's just rain. That's really cute. Okay, I like it. I will give some updates on what I'm thinking about book lovers so far. The cutest moment is happening right now, and I wish I could just tell you, but I don't want to give spoilers away. And I just think that it's such an honest, real conversation that's happening. It's so sweet. The characters are both people that just don't open up much about how they're feeling. And oh, it's just, it's such a sweet moment. I really am enjoying it so far. I'm hoping that the rest of the book kind of has this feel where I just keep learning more about the characters and liking them more so I'm excited to see what I think but I will let you know so yeah I'm excited to keep reading chapter 22 loving it so far i've tapped a lot more um so i'm on 236 and this book goes to 373 i don't think i'm going to finish it tonight but i would love to so i guess i should get to reading i turned off the ambiance thing because i was busy with emails but now i'm ready to read Let's turn on our book nook reading and just relax, have fun. I just read a really sad scene and it was the first time I like almost cried. I didn't, but like I felt the like heart constriction, like where it just feels heavy and my eyes kind of started tearing up. I don't know there's just something about like the family dynamic in this that's getting to me um but another news Ellie she kind of rolled over but she was laying on her back and she just looks so cozy Ellie girl hey Ellie there she is I'm getting really sleepy but I really want to finish this book but I keep getting distracted which is nothing new I am always distracted I'm getting like, oh, that lighting just got very light. I'll keep reading. I'm only on page 253. We gotta get moving. I'm about to pull kind of a psychotic move and I'm stopping in the middle of a chapter because I'm so tired. I, this angle's bad. I already brushed my teeth, got ready for bed. I was kind of thinking it would wake me up a little to at least finish the chapter. But I am on page 290. It's in the middle of a pretty intense scene. But I want to make sure I appreciate it. And I'm so, so tired. I'm still loving the book. I am really enjoying the characters still. 
I don't think there's really much I can say because I don't want to give away spoilers but I really do enjoy the characters in this book and their stories and how she is making me think about what is making them the way that they are like Nora is so focused on her career and she is just not really the friendliest person but you just get to know so much about her and I don't know if I mentioned this but I was kind of thinking it that we hadn't really seen a ton we see a lot of her but we don't really know a ton about Libby her sister and something happened and I just didn't realize the extent to which I actually did feel connected to her if that makes sense because I don't know I just it's getting to me I'm not making sense because I'm so tired but I'm really enjoying it it is officially time for bed so I will update in the morning <laughs> I guess update I will start reading again in the morning and it'll be like a little morning wake up maybe we'll get coffee I don't know maybe we'll, we'll see um I don't even know what I'm saying anymore I'm so tired so a good night everyone good morning guys sorry again about the mess back there I ended up just sleeping in the living room so that's how that went I did wake up a little bit ago and got a little further into book lovers i'm currently on page 317 so chapter 31 and i'm still really liking it i don't know if anyone else has this issue but if i am really excited about a book and it isn't necessarily living up to the past release for me that i just critique it a little too much because I think this is a five star read for me. I really love the characters. I am liking the story. I love the family dynamic and all of the things that are going into it. However, it really doesn't live up to people we meet on vacation and I need to stop thinking that just because I like the previous book more that this can't be a five star book for me. I put the dust jacket on so I could see how my tabs were looking with it and I think it looks so cute, the blue and the orange. But yeah, so I am really liking it. I just, I don't know why I let outside things impact my ratings of things sometimes or I just overthink it when I'm enjoying the book. Why can't I just let myself enjoy the book? So I'm hoping to finish this. I am going to just lounge around in my pajamas until I finish this. We are just going to have a very lazy morning after our sleepover, which is sometimes really relaxing, sometimes fun. So I'm going to finish my book and then I will come to you with my final thoughts. I've been tabbing so much in this book that I ran out of the blue and orange that I was using. And luckily I had another blue, but there was only one of the orange. So it's a sad day. We have to move to this lighter, like tan color. I'm, I'm just so sad. So I am in different clothes. I ended up showering and changing because it is a little later than I had expected to finish this book. But I finished Book Lovers. I loved it. I loved it so much. I know I was a little hesitant at first and I think I was just taking the critiques that I had read and heard about and just trying to almost morph them into my own opinion for some reason because at first I wasn't liking it as much as I had liked people we meet on vacation but as we started learning more about Nora and her and her sister's relationship and just the relationship development with Charlie I just I loved every second and the ending I almost cried at the ending like I literally just finished it and I 
I just feel almost at a loss for words. It was so beautiful. It was so good. Emily Henry's writing is just magnificent. She has a way with words and that is one thing that I have heard people say is that even if they didn't like the book or the story, they really enjoyed her writing. So for me, it was five stars. I am not even questioning it. I just really luckily loved this book. I think People We Meet on Vacation still sits a little higher just because I have mentioned before, I'm just not the biggest fan of workplace romances because I usually just don't care about their jobs, um, even though their jobs were in books, which was more interesting to me than just like an office job or something or something that I don't really have an interest in. But yeah, I really liked this. So five stars, so happy about that. I tapped the heck out of it. There were just so many things that I wanted to go back and remember. And for just the icing on top of the cake of it all, I found the sticky tab, the other uh, orange color, so I didn't have to use the other one. It wouldn't match, so I loved it. Definitely would recommend. I just, this is such a perfect, perfect copy of this book. I'm obsessed. It's a signed copy, all of the blue and orange. I just, I'm so giddy right now. I love it. But anyway, so that concludes our sleepover fun. I know it is the next day, but I needed to finish my book. I wanted to make sure to give you my thoughts on it. So thank you so much for participating in this bookish sleepover. If you did enjoy, please give this video a like. And if you would like to see more bookish content from me, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!